All right, <clears throat> I've got the brand new Lawn Humphrey Hickok here today. I'm trying a little different approach as far as the camera angle and setup. Um, the blade itself is six and three quarter inches long, so 6.75 inches. The overall length is 11.8 inches and the stock thickness is 200 thou. Um, the weight of the knife is nine ounces, so it's quite light um, and manageable. I just got this recently, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to, you know, play with it and try it out and stuff. But I can give you, a, you know, brief rundown on it, and also show you a couple of other knives here for comparison, so you have an idea as far as the sizes and stuff are, um, compared to some of Lon's other knives. So this one here is in desert ironwood, and it's got orange liners, and. Uh, yeah, it's more of a fighter style, like it's a Bowie, obviously. Um, hand forged, 52100 steel. It's uh, it was a large, larger knife, um, but it's delicate. You know, if that's the best um, way to describe it, like it's it's fast feeling in the hand, um, dainty. I mean, it's not got a it's not got a big handle on it. It's a different feeling handle. It's its own handle design in comparison to the Ranger and the Alpha, which I'll show you here for size sake. So the handle on the Alpha is very similar to the, the Ranger, but you can see here that the, the handle's probably a little bit longer on the Hickok. But it's it's uh it's narrower in here, it's less less hand filling. Like this one feels you know more substantial in the hand. Uh, similar stock thickness, but this one because of the area right here in this little finger choil is quite a bit thinner. It's got a very different feel in the hand. It's a lighter feeling knife compared to the the Alpha, which is definitely heavier and more heavy duty. Uh, feeling as far as what you can do with it. I really, really like this knife, the way it feels and looks and stuff. Um, maybe a little less practical than some of the other designs, but uh, so far, I think it's probably, uh, it's probably more in lines with the way uh, the Ranger feels right. The Ranger is a little, a little bit heavier. Um, it's got the same fast feeling in the hand. Lighter, you know, definitely more suited to camp work and overall, uh, you know, being a vers versatile knife. This has got a nice wide blade, so it's fairly thin um, in cross section. So it's probably going to slice quite well. In comparison to say <clears throat> the alpha here which is not quite as thick of a blade um, thicker cross section um, these are all in 5200 so same steel but yeah you pick you pick these up and you can really feel the difference in half this is a, a light nimble fast in the hand knife be easy to carry on the belt um, even though it's larger it probably wouldn't be too cumbersome it's definitely lighter than the Ranger um, yeah what else can I say about it here I mean in comparison to some of my folders that I carry I mean at nine ounce weight I mean that's the same as uh, for instance this cold steel 4 max which is actually heavier it's 9.2 ounces so you get a big knife and it's pretty light actually I've got this Formex scout I'll give you a size comparison this is a big holder but that is right around the same weight hopefully this is all picking up on camera a little bit awkward doing it from this side of the table here I'm usually doing it with the camera pointed straight down and I can see what I'm doing through the viewfinder. So 
a little more comfortable with doing it that way. I'm hoping that this this way may show things a little better, but it's definitely throwing me off my game a little bit. <laughs> so anyways, this is the sheath that comes with it, which is pretty much the same as all of the sheaths that come with Lon's knives lately. They're made by the Amish. Um, and very well made. I don't know what we got here. Oh, this one here. I, oh, I don't know if I did or not, but I think I might have stuck it in offside a little bit. But, oh, that's good. So, that's the knife in the sheath. I'll show you next to the ranger here because I feel that these are quite similar um, in size and function and also, you know, in intended use. So they uh, probably are going to appeal to guys that wanted a ranger that missed out on it, but now can get a Hickok. Normally when I'm looking at these things, I'm looking at blades like this. So you can see that blade profiles, cutting, oops, cutting edge on both of these knives are very similar. But the Hickok doesn't have a choil, so the overall length on the Ranger is, you know, quite a bit longer by probably an inch. Pretty much an inch so a little more compact but still offers the same kind of you know cutting performance and reach almost not quite but I'm not quite sure yet you know what to what to say about this knife um, as far as what I foresee myself doing with it but I'm definitely gonna give it a whirl and see how it cuts things up and how slicey it is because it definitely seems like it's a slicer even though it's fairly stick or sorry thick stock but uh, yeah so this really isn't gonna be you know very thorough review it's just a quick look at it um, I'll definitely review it and Give it some love and attention and see what i think of it but uh yeah so far so so good i like the looks of it um handle comfort is good it's definitely um different feeling than the alpha which for me has the best feeling handle the uh size of it it's just a little more hand filling um the ranger i can it's thinner feeling in the hand like the thickness of the the scales and stuff and you notice that the hickok you really notice the this area being thinner than the the alpha so yeah the alpha to me out of these ones feels the best in my hand this one is different feeling it's uh it seems like it lends itself to this kind of grips you know a little more than you know, see that style of a grip uh, I mean definitely can't do that so kind of locked into that one sort of style of grip but it feels good I mean don't get me wrong it feels good I just I like the, the feeling on this one just a little bit more it feels better in the hand so that would be maybe the only thing I could say about this that kind of caught me so by surprise is the the thinness in here the handle I was you know, expecting a little more of a hand filling handle or yeah um, it's just different right not bad just it's a different feeling knife which isn't you know at all bad it's probably what uh, was intended with that handle design and shape but it's just it's a it's a thin light fast blade in the hand it has a very very different feeling than than that one and even even this ranger the ranger i noticed being a little thin in the hand even you know like wouldn't mind a little bit 
thicker handle or a longer handle in it, but never never bothered me for what I've been using it for. So having a longer handle on this one is noticeable. Um, talking about handle length. Um, and sharpness. This one, for whatever reason, didn't come very sharp. It's not, it's not even, not even really shaving sharp. I touched it up on my strop, so I'm not sure. Maybe just a little too much buffer action or something. It's not dull, but definitely, definitely isn't sharp to the standard that I like anyways. But that's easy enough to fix. Um, yeah, so 52-100, I mean... If you know anything about it, you know, it's a great steel. It's a, you know, carbon steel, ball bearing steel. Uh, holds a really, really fine edge. Has really high edge stability. Um, really easy to sharpen and get back to that super high level of sharpness. So that's something that I really appreciate about this steel is the fact that it's not only easy to sharpen, it's easy to get to that you know, hair popping level of sharpness. This knife here, I've never sharpened it other than to touch up the edge with a ceramic rod and just bring it back with a strop. So it's, uh, and it's been used quite a bit. You know, I use it a lot in the kitchen actually, but I mean, I've hacked down tree limbs and different things with it and, you know, just general uh, horsing around, testing it out and stuff. And it's never given me an issue as far as being able to easily bring it back to sharpness without ever having to go to a sharpening stone or a grinder or anything like that. So, but yeah, that's the uh, brand new Hickok. And so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. But just uh, keep looking at it and keep smiling. And yeah, I, I really quite like it. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's kind of throwing me for a loop doing the video from this direction. So and I do these things sort of off the, off the cuff. So I don't really script anything. I don't write a sheet and just sort of talk about the knife and what I like about it. It's a looker that's the thing it's a real pretty knife to look at and i think that's kind of the, the thing that jumps out the most about it is that it's just a really nice looking knife um trying to be impartial i would say that it is not the most practical design um in comparison to say that one or even that one like the alpha is just absolutely a phenomenal knife as far as a belt knife and being capable of doing like bushcraft stuff and you know serve hunting duty type uh purposes the ranger it's it's a really good knife it's lends itself really well to food prep and general camp stuff and the choil allows you to choke up on it really nicely and do finer work and then this one it's just it's a very different feeling knife like i usually spend a little bit of time with these things before i make a video so that i get familiar with it and kind of learn to appreciate some of its qualities or quirks or whatever still haven't quite figured out where this knife fits in the lineup But don't get me wrong, I like it. I think just off the off the cuff, it's probably best compared to the Ranger as far as use and purpose. There's probably a fair bit of overlap as far as what they do. But until I use it, I'm not gonna really know where it shines. I wasn't, you know, entirely sure about this blade even. And I don't know, I'll try in the kitchen, see how it works, you know. And from there, I really, really learned to appreciate it. Like, I really like that knife. Um, but 
you know, and again, it's totally different than that knife. I don't use this knife for food prep. I use it for, you know, pretty much everything outdoors, cutting rope, anything really. I mean, I haven't used it for hunting. It's a little big for it, but it would certainly work well for it. And I was doing more heavy duty type cutting stuff. Whereas this one, when I got it, I was totally uh, surprised at how nice it was and how fast in the hand it was, but I wasn't quite sure, you know, how useful and how much I would like it until I actually used it. And then I really quickly appreciated it. And I think that's probably gonna be the, the case with this one. Um, initial impressions are as well. You know, it's a real stunner. It's a beautiful knife, beautiful blade profile. Um, feels really nice in the hand, got a good size handle. It's just, a, it's different. It's, uh, you know, it's a very different feeling knife than that one. And it's different than this, but more similar to that. I know I'm repeating myself, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's the best way to look at it and compare it to something that you might be familiar with is to make a comparison to that one. But anyways, I'll, uh, over time here, I'll get a chance to cut some stuff up with it and do some different cutting tasks and test it out, see how it feels in the hand and the handle comfort and all that fun stuff and go from there. But uh, yeah, for now, this is just, I guess, just a quick look at it because I don't think there's any other videos yet on this knife. So, but uh, I'm sure I'll learn to really appreciate it. And once I've had some time, I'll come back and make another video and give you some more thoughts as far as what I've come to learn about it. Anyways, well, thanks for watching and putting up with my rambling.